Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and in this lesson, we're going to finish installing our CSS uh, framework. We're going to have a mobile friendly, responsive site. So let's get back to it. So, the first thing I want to do is I want to turn off this uh, configuration here. I'm going to turn off this developer tools that we had going before. I've got to log in here. And I'm going to, just because right now these red uh, boxes are going to get in the way. So, I'm going to just go ahead and turn those off. Let's go down here to developer and change the store back to main website. And now I'm going to set this to no. And those will be gone. Things will be looking a little bit better, but not a ton better. Okay. Refresh. Okay, so we have our CSS in here. Now, if we look at Skeleton's examples, uh, you'll see, like we sort of went over, they had a container. So any div with the class of container is going to be a width of 960 and it's going to be centered. So let's go to our two columns, pay, uh, two columns right p.html that we grabbed before. And we have this um, we have this div that's actually called a wrapper. So that actually might be a good one to just change. We can even just add a class of container. We we'll save this. And now let's come back to our page. Refresh. Okay, cool. You'll see this has moved over a little bit. If we inspect this, we look at this uh, container, which is wrapping everything, by the way. Uh, it's been given these styles. And we didn't write these styles, but they're located in skeleton.css. Line number 24, you can go look at them yourself if you'd like. But it's giving this a position of rel uh, relative width of 960, margin of 0, and auto padding of 0. So let's get our columns in the right spot and we can move on from there, okay? So let's go back to our document here and we'll see we have a column main and we have a column right. So we have to decide what divisions of 16 we want each of these to be. Okay, and before I get started here, I'm gonna actually look at our CS or our HTML here. We have this column right sidebar. I'm actually going to make this background white really quick, just so that when we do make this switch so that they're having separate columns, you're going to be able to actually see it in action. Uh, so we're just gonna set this background to white. And now in our two columns, P, HTML, uh, if you look at skeleton, you can see that the way they've done it is they're saying here, that it to take up something, to take up certain amount of space, and like I said, there's 16 columns total with this, they're using the classes of three and columns and sidebar. Uh, and then for the main, they're having 12 columns offset by one content, okay? So we're gonna be using this three columns and we're gonna be using 13 columns for our main, just so we don't have to do the offset by one. So. Let's come back here and we're going to add these classes directly to our HTML. So for column main, we're just going to have uh, 13, oh boy, uh, 13 columns. Okay. And then right for column right, we're going to have three columns. And if everything is right, when we refresh our page, we should see them pull up right next to each other. So, here we have our right sidebar. Here we have our main column. And if I inspect these, you can see it a little bit more clearly. We have our main column. It's been given a width of 760. And we have our sidebar here, our right column. It's been given a width of 160. They're both floating left, display inline, uh, both have margins. And now let's see what happens when I actually resize the page here. You can see it still shoots it directly under here. They're all in one big column now. So already the site is responsive. Uh, the wider I get it, the more the page adjusts. So this is a great start to our site. We have a skeleton framework in, we have a responsive site, and we have a grid framework. All right, so this was a lot to go over with. Um, as always, if you have any questions, please leave a comment in the video. Hit us up at Twitter, Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. We always want to hear from you. We're going to get our site going even further in the next couple of lessons, and we're going to be doing all sorts of cool stuff with drop-down menus, whatever. We're just going to CSS a lot of the site and get it looking nice. As always, thanks for watching.